Hey everyone, uh, in this tutorial we're going to take a look at how to actually take pictures of your uh, drawings that you've made. So I've got Firefox open to our Wikipedia page here and uh, perhaps I just want to highlight uh, something on our page. So I would go over to the left hand side in the, in the board tools and tap on my highlighter. And when I did that, see that border appeared around the outside edge with the tools on the top right with the Starting from the left, we've got a, a new image. So if I draw something and tap on the new image, it'll just reset everything. The middle one is the one we're interested in right now. That's the picture. So um, just looking at this page, okay, so I'm going to highlight some information here. We are located on Lummi Nation in Washington State, in case you didn't know. Uh, and look at that. We just got a four-year bachelor's degree, uh, which was accredited uh, last August. So we're set to go, it looks like. Um, so in order to take a picture, um, you can either put your pen down, use their mouse, or you can actually um, use the cursor tool in this and take a picture. And you should hear a picture being taken. What that'll do is it actually takes a screen picture of the entire screen and it loads it into the smart notebook software, which is that um, kind of PowerPoint-esque software that comes with the uh, smart panels and smart boards. Now right now, if I tap on the screen, I can't actually interact with the screen at all because I'm still drawing, or the, the computer still thinks I'm drawing. So what I need to do is just close this uh, drawing pane, and uh, that way, uh, using the top red X on the right here. So if I tap on that, notice that disappears, and now I can actually interact with the screen again. So if I tap over to my uh, smart notebook software, this is the PowerPoint thing again, See, now I've got this image. That is, that's the highlighted image that I took. And so if I want to do that again, let's go back to our, my website here. I've got um, Google Maps open. So here, here we are in uh, Lummi Nation right here. I'm going to take a drawing again. Notice when I click on the uh, pen, that uh, outside border will show up, denoting that I can't actually interact with the website itself anymore. I'm actually drawing over it. So uh, here we got Bellingham. And Northwest Indian College is located right about here. I believe the high school and the cultural center about there. Um, and again, I'm just going to change uh, to, to blue, make it a little thinner, save those tools. And this is all water, as you can see in here, obviously. So I'm just going to take another picture. I'll go back to the uh, cursor tool, and I'll snap another picture. And you can hear that go. Again, I cannot interact with the website or anything on my computer anymore. I'm actually, it just thinks that I'm trying to draw over my screen. Just think of it as one of those plastic transparencies laying on the screen. So in order to interact with that, I'll tap on that red X again. And now I can actually go back to uh, my smart, smart notebook. And there it is. Now I've got two screens. I've got my initial one and I've got my second one. And there's a bunch of different ways you can interact with this. Um, this feature, this software is really fully featured. Um, a couple of tutorials later on, I'll take a look at what the um, what you can do with this. Um, but what you can do immediately, easiest thing I've done is just to file, and you can export those pictures. So you can export those pictures as a web page or just image files or a PDF. So if you're working um, on a lecture or something like that, if you're showing your students content, drawing over things like that, you can just easily export it to a PDF and throw it up on Moodle or email it to them or whoever you want to do. Or you can actually um, export it as image files and you can re-import it into your pages or, or I'm sorry, and into your uh, PowerPoint or uh, keynote presentations, anything like that. Okay, so that's actually how to take your uh, take pictures of your drawings.